Hi, I'm Brian Keeler. I'm a painter of still lifes, portraits, landscapes, and allegorical subjects, and I use a variety of mediums. And today I'll be demonstrating an oil landscape in late afternoon light. And I'll be using this pastel painting, this uh, uh, sketch that's behind me, and uh, that will be my study and reference material. Um, this will give us the opportunity to explore uh, chroma, which is intensity of color and uh, perspective, and the subtleties of modeling clouds. So let's get started. Okay, I have the, um, the basic uh, objects placed in the, uh, in the foreground in the, uh, on the uh, earth here. Now I'm going to uh, move up to the sky and start uh, plotting in the uh, relationships in the clouds. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is uh, think of the uh, space behind. That's when I start painting, I'm going to start with the, uh, the sky area. In other words, not the clouds. But that first division is a, a nice division of space, you know, that I've already established uh, between here and here, sort of in, in thirds. And uh, also thinking of where it lines with other things. Uh, it's nice that it's not directly over this part and not over that, that it uh, has its own uh, space there. When I do the clouds, I'm going to uh, think of them um, in terms of large masses and uh, values. And I'm also going to be considering their, uh, the temperature of, of the uh, color. And I'm going to go towards a warm uh, uh, Hugh. I haven't mentioned uh, brush strokes uh, yet. At this stage, I'm just sort of working all over the uh, canvas and uh, kind of scumbling, I guess, is the, the way that it's described, the method of applying the paint. But at certain stages, uh, we want to think of how the brush strokes are going, if they're describing a form or uh, a contour or something. Um, it comes into a play with uh, landscapes, for example, in the bales. I might want the brush strokes to be explaining the roundness of the, of the bales. Uh, with the sky, oftentimes, like right now, I'll have the brush strokes going. Uh, uh, vertical, but uh, th they'll be worked over. The idea is the uh, sky is not a plane, so it, you don't have to have the brush strokes uh, describing uh, a, uh, a form there, except when I get to the clouds, uh, I may want to do that somewhat there. can go either direction, warm or cool. I'm going uh, to uh, go warm here with the, uh, the shadow area, as if the sun is uh, infusing them with, uh, with warmth. Mixing this uh, um, chromium oxide green in with the um, permanent rose, they're uh, almost opposites on the color wheel. So the idea is to sort of uh, subdue the uh, the color. So this is uh, interjecting some. 
cool and it's going a little darker, but that's okay up here. And what's happening now is that I'm doing the uh, borders between the dark part of the cloud and the uh, sky. I'll probably go in there and either darken one or lighten the other so there's a, a value difference between them. So I'm changing it somewhat from the um, original uh, to uh, accentuate these uh, layers of clouds uh, to uh, accentuate the uh, perspective of clouds, bring out that more so. And with uh, just to pass the um, horizon at this time of day, and it's uh, kind of uh, making the light go up into the uh, the clouds themselves here. Oftentimes, up in this part of the clouds, too, the sun's kind of coming up from behind and catching the top parts of the. Uh, the clouds here. 